everyone. Today I'm debuting a new feature, my weekly wrap-up show. So far, most of my videos have talked about specific photography instructions or have been about a particular photo shoot. I'm still going to make those videos all the time, but I'm adding this weekly show to talk about a few different things. First, I'll talk about the industry a little bit. The photography business moves fast. There is always news and new cameras, gear and software. I will also tell you about what I've been up to, in case you missed anything during the week. Everyone is very busy, and in the wrap-up show, you'll see some links in the video as I talk about what I've done. Also, I'll tell you what is coming up in the week ahead. I'll also answer your questions. I can't answer every question in the video, but I will handpick a couple to answer on the show. Finally, I'll talk about a contest or a challenge for the week ahead. If it's a photo contest or a photo challenge, you can post your results on my Facebook page or you can post a video response on YouTube. Okay, let's get started. One big news item I recently read about is the Sigma SD1 DSLR. Sigma makes third-party lenses for DSLRs, but you may or may not realize that they actually make DSLRs. Their next to come to market is the Sigma SD1. The interesting thing about the Sigma DSLRs is that they truly see each of the primary colors. If you're not shooting a Sigma, your camera uses one sensor and has alternating color filters over adjacent pixels so that the filter can interpret various colors. The Sigma Foveon solutions can see all three primary colors at each pixel location. Sigma claims that this will give you three times the resolution. So they claim that the SD1 would give you 45 megapixels worth of image data. That's all good, but the specs I have read about the SD1, well, let's just say that I'm not going to get rid of my D3100 anytime soon. <laughs> and the price, $9,700. Now, I'm not going to be too tough on Sigma until I see some results from their camera. I don't like to judge based on articles and specifications. What is it that they say? The proof's in the pudding? <laughs> I like pudding. <laughs> I'm curious to see what you think of the idea of a $9,700 DSLR though. Foveon. One other gear item. I pre-ordered the Nikon 55mm f1.8 G AF-S lens. I have the older D version of this lens with the older, louder autofocus that won't work on my D3100. So I'm anxious to get my hands on the new one and have a death match between the two of them. Now what have I been up to? I've been thinking a lot about structuring my week a little bit better. Up until now, I've just been making videos and doing photo shoots for you guys when I feel like it. And I'll still do that, but I've been thinking about having more structure, like a midweek mini shoot, a Friday wrap up, that's what I'm doing right now, a weekend shoot and video featuring the popular VIP galleries, and then one or more instructional videos released early in the week. I love doing this, and I want to knock your socks off with the new format. As always, I received a lot of questions this week. One in particular was about the filing and storage of images. I liked the question so much that I made a video about it, and you can check it out here. Let's talk challenge for this week. I want the challenges to be something that you could either answer with an image or two in my Facebook page, or with a video response here on YouTube. Let's see. One of my upcoming videos will be on macro photography. I know there are a lot of you out there doing macro photography, and you've posted some great results on my Facebook page. So let's see what we've got. Insects, flowers, eyeballs, whatever you've got. It's easy to upload photos on my Facebook page, but if you really want to go all out, put a bunch of macro shots in a YouTube video, and even talk about what you did in the video, and go ahead and post it as a video response. I am really looking forward to seeing what you can come up with. I hope you enjoyed my first weekly wrap up. I'm hoping that as the weeks go on, they'll get better and more fun. So let me know what you think by uh, dropping a note in the comments. 